N.T. Wright, who's a New Testament scholar, says that every worldview is built around four basic things. Questions, symbols, praxis, and stories. Praxis, of course, a way of being in the world. And he says, listen, all these things are an ecosystem that interact with one another. And if you take a symbol and you destroy it, it impacts meaning. It impacts stories. It impacts your behavior. It impacts the questions you raise as a culture. And he says, for instance, the first century temple. If you destroy the temple, it impacts everything about Judaism, right? If, you, if Jesus walks into the temple, the temple was the greatest symbol of God's presence. If you go in and say, this thing's going to come to the ground, people freak out. That's what they do in John 2. He says, I'm going to rebuild this temple in three days. And they freak out because he destroyed a symbol. Well, the reality is, is sexuality, is, as one philosopher says, is the greatest nonverbal signal that God has set into the world. It's a nonverbal signal that says, this is what husband and wife look like, but it's also what Christ and the church look like, right? It climaxes in Revelation 20 with a wedding feast of the lamb and he marries the bride. And there's this great supper. And the reality is sexuality was always pointing to the relationship of God in the context of humanity and covenant and marriage, all of that. And when we destroy that symbol, that nonverbal signal, it's not only sexuality that gets destroyed, it's actually meaning, it's purpose, it's practices, it's, it's, it's the stories we tell, it's the questions we raise in life. All of that disintegrates when we fragment out our life in such, and, and really in the way that Paul is trying to address it.